Hey guys, welcome back to the channel Opinions Matter and you might be wondering what's going on thus. Well, uh, this is uh, the PS4 controller support or Xbox controller support that we were talking about on the iOS 13. So as you can see, I'm running the iOS 13 beta version right now. So when you go to about, uh, just to show you that uh, this is on iOS 13 right now. A uh, lot of smudges, sorry for that because I've been testing a lot of stuff these days. And uh, this is the PS4 controller, right? So uh, the way to connect your controller to your iPad. But uh, for that, at first, uh, we'll go to Bluetooth version and um, we have to connect this. So once the light starts blinking, yeah. So you see that the lights are blinking, which means that it's now in the pairing mode. So I keep on pressing this. My stuff should pop up out here. So there you go, that's that's where you see the dual shock for wireless controller. You click on that and guess what? It's connected. That means now this controller is supported. So the PlayStation controller gets connected to your iPad. So as you saw the prompt, select to continue, left analog stick to steer, right analog stick to steer and uh, just on focus on uh, steering now so watch this so select to continue yep so so that is how i'm steering so finally it works but you get the picture of it right i'm doing with one hand so I can use the top button to change camera. Now you can see that I can change camera right now. I'm holding a camera in one hand. So you get the picture of it. Uh, this is totally how I played uh, with the real racing. Now let's see what happens to Fortnite. So remember this guys, uh, it's gonna be the PlayStation button and the share button. You have to hold on this together and you will see this light blinking. Once this light blinks uh, in your Bluetooth settings, it will be paired, but I'm still going to download Fortnite for you guys. And I'm gonna see whether uh, this Fortnite actually is playable with the PlayStation controller or not. So don't allow, I do not need notification. I do not play Fortnite at all. It's just for demo purposes right now. So it's 4.3 gigs to download. So let's finish that. All right, guys. So I do not know how to play Fortnite, but this is how you're going to play. So as you can see, it works. So basically I can jump out by doing like this and then I can guide myself. As you can see, I'm using this uh, PlayStation controller right now, which completely works for your iPad. So there you go, guys, how to connect uh, the PlayStation controller to your iPad. And now you can do gaming uh, with the help of your, all these controllers that are lying around. Xbox also, you can use Xbox controllers to pair up. And if you like this presentation and video, give me a big, big thumbs up, like, and do press that subscribe button on the right-hand corner as this iOS 13 and the PlayStation controller is going to be one of the winning features that a lot of people, those who have iPads, has been waiting for over the years. So thank you, Apple, for doing this finally and letting us lose on gaming. So take care, guys. See you again on another episode. Till then, goodbye.